Hello, I am Stephen Hawking and I like to lay on the beaches. <laughs> Fest and bulbous. Fest and bulbous. That's it. Hey, do it again. I love, love that. I love those words. Fest and bulbous. That's right, the mascara snake. Fast and bulbous. Bulbous also tapered. Yeah, but you've got to wait until I say. Also, a tin teardrop. <laughs> oh, Christ. Again, beginning. <laughs> Fast and bulbous. That's right, the mascara snake. Fast and bulbous. Also, a tin teardrop. Bulbous also tapered. That's right. Hello, I am Archie, and I am an archer fish. My genius tree looks something like this. Archer fish like myself live in brackish waters from India all the way to Australia. Archer fish get food by shooting down insects with a bolt of water propelled from their mouth. It's fairly accurate and we can hit our targets from 3 meters above the water's surface. We can hit these targets because our eyes can compensate the refraction of light as it passes through water. When archerfish are young they travel in packs and shoals, because when young archerfish shoot, they are inaccurate at first. Although they learn fast because they can improve their aiming just by watching other fish shoot. By this adaptation, it has changed the way that archerfish get food. Archerfish have a very short list of predators including humans, larger fish, as well as some birds. Archerfish can only run from predators because shooting water bolts is takes up a lot of energy. Not much is known about breeding habits that the archerfish have. What we do know is the female lays about 20,000-150,000 eggs and those are fertilized externally by male sperm. Good news as well. The archerfish in a state of least concern at extinction, as it has a low predator count, plenty of food, and that humans don't intentionally fish for them. They just get caught in the net sometimes. I just came.